The Minister of Basic and Secondary Education on Friday held a press conference to update the public on several key developments. The reverse teaching cadre schemes of service, the recategorization and reclassification of public schools, and the national teacher postings for 2024. This press conference aimed to promote transparency and keep the public informed about significant changes in the Gambian education sector. The newly reversed scheme of service reintroduces a clear defined career structure designed to attract, motivate and retain qualified teachers. Speaking to the journalist, Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, Louis Moses Mendy, provided an overview of the press conference addressing the reasons behind the delayed release of postings. He also announced that approximately 3,862 teachers have been promoted to various levels. What we have done is to look at the teaching cadre. And in looking at the teaching cadre, we try to revise it so that it speaks to the time. We are in the 2024. Uh, the generation in which we are in requires that we need to speak to the time in everything that we do. For that reason, the scheme of service was subjected to a review. And luckily, it got approval uh, by government through the Ministry of Public Service. And we are very grateful and we want to sincerely thank the government through the Ministry of Public Service for approving the scheme of service. Initially, we were operating on what we call Schedule 45. Schedule 45 uh, limits the school system or the teaching cadre into an A school, a B school, or a C school, or a class one, two, three school. Uh, C is the biggest school with the biggest population, and also three is the biggest. But now with the revision of this scheme of service, we have moved from A to E and one to five. So those people that were heading perhaps the C school would naturally now be moved to the E school, which is the biggest, and also to the five school, which is the biggest. So what this has done is it has created a quite a number of positions, administrative positions at school level, such that people would ordinarily have to move. And in movement of teachers, we need to ensure that they are appropriately and properly placed. And that takes time. So we needed to have that time to ensure that everyone is appropriately placed before we could release the postings. We thank God that we went through that exercise and we have completed the placement of teachers and now we are happy that the postings have been released. The Director of Human Resources at the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, Ibrahim Asadi, highlighted that the reverse scheme of service includes beneficial initiatives for teachers' welfare. The data, my, the, the, what is most important for me as a Director of Human Resources is the promotion of um, uh, people or the uh, 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 migration of people from their current status to the next level of status. Because if you look at the scheme of service, before it was revised, we have class A, class B, and then class C. It stopped there. But now that when it has been revised, it's moved up to E, meaning that another two levels have been added. So this thing has created numerous number of vacancies for teachers to be promoted and then currently this is what we are on we have already implemented or we have already just made that recommendation and then send it to the pmo those people who should be part of the wagon so this is where we are and then now that has uh, given us the leeway to do that of um, uh, teacher posting Principal Education Officer and Human Resources Directorate Musaba and SSO, the Deputy General Secretary of the Gambia Teachers Union, who were instrumental in preparing the updated scheme, discourse its relevant and benefits, particularly for teachers. Today, 
Our total number of school, 797, have all been categorized. What does me, that means? It means all the headmasters or the principal of those schools will be <coughs> status holders. And it goes uh, with also with our promotions, with increase in terms of, in terms of earning. Um, coming to the issue of categorization and reclassification, functionally, we define uh, reclassification as separation of schools. Where you have a combination of lower and upper, which is referred to as basic cycle, uh, when they are separated, we say the school has been reclassified. Where you have a combination of upper, basic, and senior secondary school, if they are separated, we say the school has been reclassified. So all such schools, based on our um, implementation guideline, that have been separated, we are done for a good purpose. One, first and foremost, we have reviewed that even though the intention was to separate all schools, we realized that some of the, um, not some, all the upper basic schools, the population or enrollments are influenced by the lower basic. So you may have, for instance, an upper basic school of, let's say, 700 and only one grade seven, for instance. So one class is not viable. If you separate such a school, it means you are settling for an extinction. So all upper basic schools with a population of 100, sorry, 700 candidates, and then the upper um, level having more than 75 students are separated. So if you, even if you have 700, but the upper component does not have up to 75 students, such schools are not separated. So this needs to be clear, 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 uh, clarified. So that you may come across a couple of basic cycle schools which are not separated, is by virtue of the <coughs> issue of viability. Because when they are separated, the SIG and subvention may not suffice and, and, and the head teachers will find it extremely difficult to run their schools. The MOPSI officials appeal to teachers to engage in discussions rather than outright rejecting their postings, stressing that refusal to accept postings is considered misconduct and may result in serious penalties. Reporting for Kefatu, I am Namatulai Jao.